purpose is that if people die. I don't know, but the, the Bible says that it's, it's unto every man once to die. So we're going to die, whether we're going to catch a virus or whether we're going to get hit by a car, we're going to have a heart attack, we're going to fall asleep at night and never wake up. There's all kinds of ways that people die. But God has a purpose for those things. And what I want to encourage myself and others of us, that we would investigate what, what is going on and, and why is these things happening. Now, of course, when the one person dies, it, it is a tragic thing and the family grieves. But when, when we have around the world hundreds of thousands of people dying, there's a, there's, there's a purpose behind that. There's something that God is saying and we want to discover what that is so we can begin to be the types of people that God could speak to and that we could relay insight and information to this world. And so we just want to encourage you today. We want you to know that we love you. We want you to know that we wow, talk about someone missing uh, the, the Sunday event. Uh, it, it, it's kind of crummy that we have to, but that's what we have to do for now. And that's what we're going to do. One of the things that we want to guard is we want to guard our integrity. We want to make certain that the decisions we make, if they're contrary to uh, what our state says we can do and ought to do, we may not like what they say, but the truth is they're the ones that are in leadership and they're the ones that God put there. And so we, we have to figure out how to relate to that and how to uh, touch the lives of people in spite of the hindrances that we have. So I have a verse that I want to share with you that is one of my favorite verses. And I guess if you read the Bible enough, then they're all your favorite verse. But, but here's one that I want you to, to just kind of let roll around in your thoughts and get into your spirit to help you uh, work through uh, the, these moments of time. And we find this verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Listen to this. This is incredible. He says, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Sometimes people will ask the question, well, how are we going to survive? How are we going to get through this? How are, is this and that and the other thing going to happen? And we, we can turn to this verse and let's turn to it again and just look at it. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. God has equipped us. God has filled us with his presence and God has given direction in our lives that we want to be obedient to. And so we uh, present to you today this concept, this, this thought that if you will practice it, it will make a whole world of difference in your life. Let's look at it one more time before we say goodbye. I can do everything through him. That means I, there isn't anything I can't do. When I have him, when I have Jesus in my life, when I have Jesus saying, this is what I want you to do, then we are empowered to do it. We're equipped to do it. We're enabled to do it. And we can go and do it if we'll have the courage to do what Jesus has asked us to do. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Go, my friends, and be those who can do everything through him who is your strength. Without him, we're not going to go anywhere. But in him, we're going to see the power of God and the greatness of God before this ordeal is over. Well, have a great afternoon. We'll look forward to seeing you again. <laughs>